bringing to you the most important news. The things that you care about, the things that are fun, the travels and adventures, the stories and songs. From here and from there, from the furthest side of everywhere. If she knows how to listen, and she knows how to hop, your fearless reporter with the ears that flop, right here on Rabbit Ears News, the Weekly Carrot. We'll return after these messages. Hello, little girl. It looks like you have a brand new Dapper doll. Why, yes, I do. This doll belongs to me. Why do you think that the Dapper doll is better than all the other baby dolls on the market today? Linda is amazing and smart. You named your doll Linda? No, Linda named herself. Linda tells me things. What kind of things? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Oh my, how does she tell you these secrets? She whispers them in my ear when I go to bed. Dapper Doll, the amazing new plastic experiment from SC Toys. Outfits and wooden spoons sold separately. Alrighty, folks, welcome back. We have part two of the weekly carrot. And on part two today, we have a question introduced to us by Magic. All right, Magic, let's let's hear the question. Where, where's the magical question? Where is... Magic. Oh, wow, cool. It's on your hat. Didn't, didn't that expect coming. that. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. All right, what's today's question? It's from Matthew, and his question is, why are chickens so awesome? Do you have any answers for that one, Beth? Maybe it's because they're birds, but they can't fly, so they have to overcompensate for not being able to fly by being really cool and funny. I think that's a pretty good answer. I think we can stick with that answer. I like that answer. What do you got next? What do you got coming up now? Well, next we have entertainment news with Dino Jubilee. I, I'm friends with Dino Jubilee. Are you really? Can I get their autograph? Yes. And uh, let me say, say this. They're the coolest. They seem pretty cool. I'm their biggest fan. Almost as big as Pum Pum and Dave. Okay. Well. I think they're after Dino Jubilee, so... Maybe. I think everyone's kind of tied for first right now. No. no. I mean, I mean, like, in the show. Oh, After yes. we watch Dino Jubilee, will, they we're going to watch the Pong Pong situation. Next. It'll be great. All right. And let's take it away. Gave it to a man going way 
way out west Told him to take it to the one he loved the best For the train hit the curb and then it jumped the rail Not a soul was left behind to tell the gruesome tale But the cat came back the very next day The cat came back, they thought it was a honor But the cat came back, it just couldn't the same way The cat was the possessor of the family of his own For seven little kittens till there came a cyclone to do the show. We are going to have a great time. I don't know, uh, Dave. It looks like we're in the Seattle airport. Oh, well, uh, maybe we took the wrong plane. I don't know. Maybe uh, the plane was uh, the different plane and we didn't uh, take the right one. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should um, take a plane to the correct location. Well, here is the news, uh, Pan Pan, my old friend. We do not have enough money to buy two more plane tickets. So, um, we do, on the other hand, have enough money to uh, rent a beautiful car. And we could drive to New York. That's a great idea, Dave. Did you know that I tried to sue the airport for losing my luggage once? Oh my goodness, you tried to sue the airport? Because they lost your luggage? What happened, my friend? Well, I lost my case. All right, everybody, welcome back after watching Pun Pun and Dave and Dino Jubilee. They are probably some of my favorites to end on. But before we go, I do have a random fact to share with you all. Oh, yeah, what's the random fact? Well, have you ever heard of Cleopatra? Yes, that she's a, an Egyptian, what is she? An from the, she's I, the queen I of denial. The last Egyptian pharaoh. The last Egyptian pharaoh. There we go. Thank you, magic. Very true. Anyway, so Cleopatra, she was very well known for her beauty, and she had a special lipstick made for her. It was made of a mixture of crushed up ants and carmine needles, which are a super deep red. Excellent. Bugs on your lips, pal. Super tasty. Bugs on your lips. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.